Uh, hey everybody, Steven here. So today I just wanted to show you how you can add some dimensions to your floor plans. And so the tool that we're going to use is here under the document, dimension tool. First I'm just going to show you the manual way. Uh, so after you selected that, you can just, let's say we want to measure that side of the house. Uh, click on the first and then on the other end. Uh, make sure that you click the corner. So just press escape to redo it. And then press the right click on your mouse to get that little window pop up. Press OK. And then you can see the dimension line and um, ask you where you want to place it. Um, so that's going to be on that side. And just press left click to uh, uh, place the dimension. And now for the dimensions, you have uh, maybe like three things that you can tweak uh, that are that I usually tweak is either like the the size of the font. Um, so if you go into the here, you can see that's the font size. Okay. Smaller, bigger. Uh, change the font type. And right now the color is set to blue, but it appears black because we have the overall graphic set, set up to simplified plan but if we let's say just no override you can see those are the the color of the setting that's showing here but usually I like to keep them black as well and now there's also the marker here right now it's set as an arrow um, but you have different options could be a circle or, or this this I think makes it look cleaner just a little diagonal line and you could also change the the line that give you a hint on where it's located, where it's taken from. So you could have no line, a little smaller one, a bit longer, and this one's a bit closer to um, the wall. But usually, if you have uh, multiple dimensions on one side, you try to keep it to um, the smaller ones possible. Um, and okay, you can drag dimensions, um, and because they're attached to that side, so you don't really need to uh, worry about have, uh, not being uh, pressing shift to uh, make it stick to that axis, it will just stay this way. And if you want to add, let's say, dimensions for from here to here. You could either do it manually again, just press this corner, this corner, press OK. Uh, but as you can see, it uh, went back to the original setting. Um, so what you could do is just maybe absorb the settings of that dimension line and put it inside this one. So usually I press Alt to get that like a um, to suck the properties of that line, you can see it turns blue. I click on it, uh, left click, and then press Ctrl Alt to switch it to the syringe tool. And you just uh, hover that line and press left click to inject the properties. Uh, but if you don't want to have to do that all the time, what you can do is to just make a copy of that dimension line. So you click on it, you drag. Press Ctrl to get a, a little plus sign and paste it and just left click to um, make it here and select that line and if you press Ctrl now it allows you to add points to uh, that you want to dimension so let's say I want to know what's the dimensions from this corner to here so I'm just going to select that dimension press Ctrl and left click on the corner and I can do that uh, as many times as I wanted to. Um, so I'm just going to drag to that corner here. And it also works on the uh, on wall. Um, so yeah, earlier I just created a wall here to show you. So if I click on here, click on one of the corner of the wall, it will uh, create one. Um, but if I, let's say, Control Z to undo that, if I click like let's say on the wall itself oops what's this not doing now 
Okay. Um, oh, I think you need. It only works if you um, click on the side that has the reference line, because if you see that wall, um, the reference line is set on the on that side here. Uh, so click on the dimension. If you click on that side, it will only add one. But if you click on the reference line, oops, it will add two, and it will give you the size of the the thickness of the wall. So that's how you add some more dimensions. And if you know that you're gonna have like maybe four dimension lines, maybe showing one of the exterior, then interior walls, and maybe location of other walls or staircase, um, what you could do is to have like a two multiple deadline here. So you use the multiply tool and between each line, maybe I'm going to do 750. Click on spread, so every 750 is going to add a, a copy of that line. And then click the direction you want to go. So we're going to go toward the inside. And here we go. As you can see, the, the font is a bit big, so what I can do is just select all the dimensions, maybe reduce back to 5 looks much better and now I can just press con press one of the dimension press control and just click in any point that I want dimension um, again we're doing the walls we add this wall here this one's going for this wall this wall this point here and that's it oops is it 122? It should be 250. Okay, uh, let's check. Oh, as you can see, this is pointing to the middle, so you have to be careful where you click. And now you can delete the one that you don't want. And put that back here. So let's say, oh, you made a mistake, like this is like a repeating uh, that dimension. You can just select one point and delete it. And if it's, let's say, in between, you can also delete. And if you want to move some element, um, let's say for this one, press Ctrl D uh, so I can drag. And let's say I'll shift it down to um, 1500 which is 90 degrees, and as you can see the dimension is updating. Um, I'm not going to do it on the other because they are part of the hot link, so I would have to, to dimension later. So I think that's why, if you work with hot links, um, I think it's better to dimension them um, in the hot link, um, so that uh, I'm not too sure if I, if I have to do that. Let's say I measure here. If I change the thing, if it will link properly, might be. Um, I guess I'll have to try it, but it's better to do, do it individually, uh, like in, in separate hot links. Um, okay, and then now if you want, you can just add uh, dimension on that side as well. Usually, you go in the uh, every facade and you can do the same thing make copies oops control D press control to get that little plus and you can add dimensions uh, but it takes quite a while to um, to place everything so one little shortcut um, just deleting all the dimensions is uh, you can do that automatically if you select all the walls so just go into the wall tool and uh, control A select all the walls and if um, yeah, uh, so you get all the walls selected go into document uh, annotations automatic dimensions exterior dimensions uh, dimension opening so openings um, because right now we haven't really put any any proper windows um, 
so you unclick that but usually if you have windows in your floor plans already uh, it will damage the, the hole in the, in the wall but I'm just gonna take that off because um, I just want the, the structure um, press OK and maybe the distance between the lines 750 and I was place them on all four sides press OK so now usually it's better to select one side that's like the biggest and straight click on one corner to the corner and now click on the side and that will create uh, dimension lines um, automatically on all four sides and as you can see there, there's like an order to it so this one is like the overall dimensions and then those ones are like where there's the corners and this is the thickness of the different walls and this is just the exterior um, but yeah that's how I add like a uh, dimension really quickly and from there if I wanted to I could uh, do the interior one so let's say make a copy of this one uh, 500 or maybe not I'm just gonna use this one because there's there's less uh, dimensions to to delete and I can just click on here click this click this I click here and I can delete some as well the one I don't want but yeah it just allows me to um, create a lot of uh, dimension quickly have all of them uh, the same font same settings and I can just delete the information that I don't want um, just like this one if they like um, same information I can delete that but it's really up to you about how you, you want it to look like and yeah oh if you decide that you, that's not the style of um, dimension that you like you can just click on here just like any other things like if you click on the element and press ctrl a you will select all the same instances same um, uh, instances of that so we'll select all the dimensions and here you can change the all of them at the same time but yep I mean that's my way of uh, adding uh, dimension quickly um, well thank you for watching <laughs>